Well, Mr. Hayek, you wrote a very famous essay on uh, the intellectuals and socialism in which you uh, attempted, I think quite successfully, to show why uh, socialism is so nubile for the, in for the intellectuals. Uh, what, what is that thesis of yours, and do you still uh, defend it? Oh, you know, certainly, yes. Well, uh, it's a very interesting story intellectually. One of the dominant ideas which uh, governs thinking since the 18th century is the idea we can, that we can make everything to our pleasure, that we can design social institutions in their working. Now, that is basically mistaken. Social institutions have never been designed and uh, do much more than we know. They have grown up by a process of selection of the successful without people frequently know why it was successful. That applies to the market. The market is a, I was going to say most ingenious, but ingenious without having been designed instrument which enables us to utilize knowledge which is distributed among hundreds of thousands of people. It's an adaptation to thousands of circumstances which never knows, uh, uh, nobody ever can know as a whole, and where the prices formed on the market tell the individual what to do and what not to do in the social interest. Now, in order to understand this, you have to know economics. To the naive person who imagines all the distribution of income is determined by somebody deliberately and actively, it seems that if this is the responsibility of a particular guy, this is evidently done very unjustly. The fact is, it's not being done unjustly because we achieve all that we do achieve by having come to agree to play a sort of game in which the game of the market, as I like you to call it, in which because we are utilizing more information, more facts than anybody knows, the outcome for a particular individual is necessarily unpredictable. Now an outcome which is unpredictable and undesigned by anybody cannot be just. Just as little as the outcome of a game of chance can be a just game. But people resent this. And the people who imagine, oh, it should be possible to design all this, to arrange this, accept the government to do this in a manner so that the distribution is just. Now that is literally impossible because it would require that all this widely dispersed information about particular facts and particular circumstances and particular gifts can be used and controlled by a central authority. 